throughout history, humans always had a propensity to explore and to go beyond whatever the confines are that we know. And at one point that was to go across oceans, across lands, and now it's to go beyond our planet. Three, two, one, lift off. Since its inception in 1958, NASA has accomplished a wide array of milestones in air and space exploration. In 1969, the first human walked on the moon. Since then, the sky, or rather outer space, has been the limit. This year, NASA selected eight astronaut candidates from the more than 6,000 applicants who applied, two of which are from the Army. I've wanted to be an astronaut longer than I can. Even remember wanting to be an astronaut. To me, NASA is such an inspiring and unifying organization. We think of NASA as an entity within the United States, but it's really an international cooperation. At human beings at their best, and to me, it's really embodies the best of the human spirit throughout the world. To be now selected to represent the Army at NASA,、um, it has it has put put me over the moon. It's far more than I ever expected. I couldn't imagine a more fulfilling way to spend a career in space and serving at NASA than to be able to represent the Army. Majors McLean and Morgan will spend the next two years at the home of NASA's astronaut corps, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. August 12th is our first day, and there's going to be a lot of different、uh, aspects to the training. Russian language training, so we can work with our international partners. There's technical side training on being an astronaut, learning about the organization of NASA, working robotics, and learning how to do spacewalks. Honestly, at this point, it's so inspiring just to be part of the process. I certainly would put my hand up for any of the missions: Moon, Mars, asteroid. I can't wait to see、uh, what plays out ahead of me over the upcoming years. From Army Broadcasting, I'm Sergeant Jennifer Anderson.